gun violence prevention is a moral issue. Gun violence prevention laws work. And here you see the power that's going to make these gun violence prevention laws happen around the country. U.S. faith leaders have announced they will use the power of the pulpit to apply pressure on lawmakers to enact stronger gun restrictions. The issue is, are there some sensible steps that we can take to make sure that um, somebody uh, like uh, the individual in Newtown can't walk into a school and gun down a bunch of children? We should ban assault weapons and high capacity gun magazines. There are no valid uses for these weapons off the battlefield. We should also require universal background checks for those purchasing guns. We protect the public when we make sure that the only people with guns are those who would use them responsibly. It will also be important to strengthen anti-gun trafficking laws to better monitor the flow of weapons and limit the ability of criminals to obtain them. The faith leaders and President Barack Obama have acknowledged that getting such measures through Congress won't be easy, given the enormous pressure exercised by gun lobby groups. We're talking about building a social movement to change the dysfunctional politics of Washington, D.C. What the polls show is the vast majority of Americans, including gun owners, support these measures. Somehow there are people in Congress who don't believe that. We're going to let them know that. Today is the beginning. This letter from these 47 national faith leaders is going to be replicated around the country from local and state faith leaders. Members of Congress who don't believe that 90% of their constituents support these things, these measures, are going to hear from that 90%. We are going to succeed because the faith community is going to make its voice heard until we succeed. In Washington, this is Chaz Muth for Catholic News Service.